Rapa Island is the most isolated inhabited island of French Polynesia and it's one of the most beautiful places I've been in. The biggest challenge is how high isolated it is, so I can only go two weeks at a time. It's a very limiting, you have to prepare everything in advance and all the material, everything you need. For me, success on Rapa Island for, to protect the endangered species would be that the breeding success would improve because we did work on their habitat and we planted, uh, also controlled the invasive species on their uh, threatening their habitat. It is important to give these grants because we always have a difficulty finding people to stay on the island to do this kind of work full time. And we need more locals uh, to be involved in conservation and that's what this grant do is to have local people work in this area because there's not enough. The training has really helped me to understand better how to do project planning and how to identify the problems that uh, we need to address. This actually, I wished I had this before. <laughs> so Sawaru is an atoll in the northern group of the Cook Islands. It's uninhabited and except for two rangers who live there for six months of the year. It's a bird life international important bird area. I think success would be not just to secure the protected area status, but that people are involved in it and care about it. And just because you know about something doesn't mean you care about it and then change your behavior. So we're learning some really, really good methods of targeting different people, different audiences. Um, it'll help us be more confident in the way we deal with people. And I think that's going to help the team once I take that module back and, and teach elements of it to the rest of the team. Yeah. <laughs> I think this training is amazing and even essential for the development of, of somebody who really wants to make a difference in the community by taking the right steps. Providing uh, money to facilitate this kind of training for young people like us who are still learning about this, this world of conservation is essential because I didn't really have access to any of this training any other way and I went to university and I did all the, you know, even going through all the courses, it didn't break things down this way, you know? <laughs> And this is wonderful. I mean, I believe that if you understand the little pieces, it helps you build the big picture the right way. And I'm excited about taking this back to the team because I know that it will improve the way they do this. Really great way of uh, learning while doing it.